in the, in the millions numbers, but it is very, very rare for albums to go platinum anymore. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean, if, if, if a band sells a few hundred thousand copies of their record, that's incredible. It's, it's the but they're still not making much money on it. They make their money by playing the shows. Yeah. And yeah. Selling their, show, merch their show's and probably been downloaded a million times. Sure. Illegally, sure. You know, but, but it's uh, a much more diversified revenue stream yeah. than it used to be. It's not just record sales anymore. It can't be because, to your point, everybody just downloads it or streams it or yeah. pirates it yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's the so. thing that I was going to ask. I just bought into there is um, what is your opinion on the music piracy type thing? I mean, some... A lot of pirates and some some artists say, you know, it's going to happen anyways, and it it, it helps spread it. Yeah, if they're not going to buy it, they're, you know, that's a positive way to think about yeah. it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I download a lot of music. <laughs> I think all of us are music pirates in yeah, some some form or another. You know, even if it's just looking up a song on YouTube, you're not yeah. you're not paying to listen to that song, but you're listening to it for free. And well, we pretty much grew up. In the like, I mean, Napster came out when I was ooh, oh, I was yeah. like a freshman in high school. And so like, uh, I mean, I hardly line knew. Wire. I still went. Yeah. I still. I was like one of the few people that still <laughs> went out and bought CDs for a really long time, just because I liked having CDs in my car. Yeah. I, mean, I still remember one time listening to the radio, and the person calls in, tells the the you know, request a song, and, and asks that the um, announcer to say when they're going to play because they want to hit the record button. All yeah, I've done that. 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 That was part I done of my that. childhood too, just sitting yep. by the record button waiting yep. for the song uh, to come on. I totally did that. But yeah, I mean, you're you're right. I mean, in, in a lot of ways, you fight for exposure, however you can get it. You know, and and most bands make more money by people coming to their show and paying a ten or twenty or thirty or whatever the you know the ticket price is. Um, and then they sell merch, and merchandise is a huge thing for, oh, yeah. for bands yeah. these days, especially small bands, because do you guys high margin um, any merchandise, like you know, on your website or anything like that? Yeah, like, we, have, I, we have I haven't been there. So. We have we have T-shirts and CDs and stickers. Um, that's all we have right now, but uh, we got some some ideas. You go into like some place like Cafe Press to do that, or are you doing um, yeah. local people doing that? The the T-shirts. I can't remember who we ordered them through. But uh, I, for a while, I, I printed a bunch of shirts out and like and did that. And then we printed koozies for... Yeah, we've done some limited run stuff that we've printed ourselves. I, I, I know that Cafe Press, you can basically send them your design and, you know, you do a thing and, and they'll basically put on whatever... Yeah, that's, that's, I, I think I, I looked into that. I wasn't too crazy. Cost. I wasn't too crazy about the, the margins and my costs for that stuff. Um, I, I can't remember who I went through, but it, was, it ended up being a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, merchandise is hard, especially at this. Because yeah. you gotta, you got to invest a lot up front for that stuff. Now, going back to where it's focused on you guys as a band, King Cardinal, where did the name come from? No. Got to ask that. I've been wondering. I know. How. It's, not, it's not interesting. Is that no. interesting? I was actually, I looked up, the, it was, it was, the question is not to ask a band. Well, that was question number one. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Well, that's fine. I'm, I'm that's fine. Anyway. I'm I don't even that. think I know, and I'm in the band. I should, <laughs> I should make up like a good story or something. Basically, I was looking for a name, and my friend was like, "You should be Kid Car Kid Cardinal." And that was right around the time like Kid Cudi, so like sounds like a rapper. <laughs> um, Kid Cardinal. And then I was looking at the back of records. I was like, "I'll oh, just name it after a song from a band I like." And I looked at the back of the band, self-titled record and they have King Harvest on there and I was like oh King Harvest is a cool name but that was like a one hit wonder in the 70s I don't remember what song yeah they were a one hit wonder in the 70s um, they did Dancing in the Moonlight Dancing in the Moonlight, Dancing in the moonlight. Uh, so I just pushed <laughs> just, just, just put the two the two names together that, that's better than Conway Twitty you, you know how he he chose his name <laughs> there are two points on a map really <laughs> <laughs> Conroll the dice. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Man. It's funny though, yeah. Well, that's uh, now I know. Yeah, now now the whole world knows. But yeah, not, yeah, now yeah. I know too. Yeah. It's not interesting. Yeah. I should maybe make something up. Well, but it's, you know, you get a little <laughs> band love in there. The band is great. Yeah. We love yeah. the band. So. Yeah. There was a story how the, the, the name comes from. They knew that's your story. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. So, how many albums do you guys put out? We have two out right now. One of them is pretty much just me and then some of my friends that layered some tracks on. Um, and then the second one is the 
full band, but only Scott in this. And we'll text. We have another another person that that is in the band. Tex, Texana Denny, she sings. Um, Scott and Tex are the only ones that are on that record. Yeah. Um, so you do have a female artist that's with you. So where is she at today? She is back home going to school. She's a nursing yeah. student currently, and so oh, she cool. she was out with us for about a week, but needed to get back and. Uh, yeah, go back into her nursing classes. So, so. so we unfortunately had to part ways with our soon-to-be nurse uh, a few days ago, but um, she's a, a phenomenal vocalist, so mm-hmm. she's with us as much as possible. So was it like having a female in the band? As, 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 as she was actually here, it's I, I was going to ask her what it was like being the only female in the band, but mm-hmm. since she's not here, I have to like... She keeps us... <laughs> Straight now, I suppose. Yeah. Is she like a big sister, or she's, she's like well, she's the youngest in the band. Oh, really? Yeah, she's it's only twenty five. It's, it's good so. to have a balance, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She gets teased a little bit. Yeah. The band yeah. wasn't as stinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's perfume. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that she, she was gone. And everybody's partner in the band. <laughs> <laughs> Her boyfriend uh, is a guy named Logan Muckler, and he's done all of the engineering for the. He's a recording engineer, so he's done all of the, the uh, engineering for the band. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's kind of this big family of cool. musical people in, in Denver that has spawned this, this group. Uh, he recently helped us record an original holiday song that we released in the December. Mm-hmm. Some we did a video, video shoot a few weeks ago that we're releasing soon, so. He's pretty great. Yeah. Yep. We love you, Logan. <laughs> and Tex. <laughs> um, see what else? Well, um, I, I told you I was going to ask this here. Um, I found you... I t- I'm terrible with names. I, I, I'm an ass. Right, I'm an ass. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking Alan, and, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so Brent, um, I found you by a fluke on Reddit. I, I've never gone into the Tacoma um, subreddit. I just... You hit the main page, and I saw you. Yeah. Um, how yeah. has that worked out for the tour? You know, being on the social media, how has that made it? Try to think of the right words here. How has it? How is that different? Being able to use social media to plan your tour versus the old style of the record label planning your tour. Um, well, for a band at our size. Going into cities and playing at venues is pretty is a crapshoot. Generally, if you're not paired with a band, a local band that's going to draw, there's not nobody's going to come out and see us. Cause nobody in the town has heard of us. You know, we can go on and we can promote as much as we want, but at the end of the day, we're not from the city. We, we're not going to draw people. So doing it this way has been kind of a, a nice way of building fans, kind of from the ground up. You know, going finding people who, who like the music and then they those people want to share their music with their friends so have a private party for that person they invite their friends and family we go play or I go play and, and it, then your, your fan base in the town grows by you know 10 people which is not very much we do that a couple times you know then you got 30 40 people and then next time you go into town and play at a venue you'll act I'll, we'll draw people i mean that's that's the idea you're, you're yeah. basically nickeling into i yeah and i think that's i think that's the way that's really the only unless you get lucky it's really the only way to do it is to just grind it out and, and meet people um and and i i, I read about people doing these house shows and stuff but these the people are like hey use your email list and like find people who want to host you but we didn't really have an email list in these towns or like people that were willing to put us up so reddit i just uh, there's a community there and i just put i put it out there it's like does anybody want to host us we have videos and stuff and we have now we have experience doing these house shows and it's run pretty well it's all donation based so at the end of the day you know, we'll end up with a little bit of money, which is nice. Do you, do you just put your stuff up on the local city one, or like do you post it in um, our videos? Um, uh, I've been doing the, just the city. I'll just go straight to the city. I was gonna say you might want to You might want to try some like posting some stuff in our videos. And, yeah. Um, I'm sure there's some other music ones there. Yeah, the music it's hard. The music ones are hard because they're 
they're they're pretty against self promotion. So I've gotten I've gotten booted off a bunch of stuff. I, I can that. Yeah, uh, that's one thing with you know, mm. so if you want to post some stuff on there, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I might do that for you. You know, I mean, go for it. I, I might do that for yeah, you. Yeah, great. After the coma, where are you guys heading off to? Uh, we're going to Olympia, and then we have a day off. I think we're going to go to Portland, hang out for a day, and then we're playing in Birkenfeld, outside of Portland, which is like at the Berk. We have two days there. Then we're going to Boise, then Snow Basin, which is like right outside of Salt Lake City. And then we're I was, was going to ask you if you're going to do any in Utah. Let's yeah, see. we'll be in Utah. Utah boy. Well, we, you know what? If we want to come out here, we have to go through Utah. So, <laughs> and there's only really only like one city we're probably going to stop in Utah. Yeah, Utah. You know the one in Utah you guys need to do? Is July 24th rodeo in Spanish Fork? What is it? The July 24th rodeo in Spanish Fork. Spanish Fork? Okay. If, if you're into rodeos at all, yeah. Oh, okay. I'd love to, yeah. Spanish Fork, Cheyenne, Wyoming, Las Vegas. Those are the top three. You know, with, oh, okay. yeah. all the way to the tour. I've heard yeah. Cheyenne's big, and that's really only a two-hour drive from Denver. Yeah, and Spanish Fork yeah. isn't that far away from you guys either. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, how far yeah. is it to um, Grand Junction in Moab? From you? And that's that's like two thirds of the way, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty it's not much. far. Now, do you guys ever go outside of the state, like Canada? At all? Not yet. Hope, hopefully, we'll make it to Vancouver at one point. You know, we, we were at Bellingham, so we were Bellingham, Washington, so we were like almost there. That that always adds an extra fold to a touring band because even if you're everything's on the up and up and everybody has their passports and all of that. You, you tend to run into a little bit of questioning at the border going yeah. in and out. Right, so it right. can be a, it can be a thing. I know if Scott just stepped away, but um, <clears throat> he was up touring with another band recently, um, and they searched the entire vehicle really? and they made, they made them go back into the states and print off a bunch of paperwork and like. I, I was just lots thinking with, of stuff. You know, yeah, with Vancouver being right above Washington and you guys being from Colorado, like sure. you said, you know the farming of certain things, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, that's going to be, and being a band, you know, they're, they're going to typecast you guys. Bunch of long haired hippies, yeah. 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 Man, so. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I mean, I, I think we universally love to be up there and, and to play, and, and, you know, Vancouver's a great city. Um, I've been a couple of other large, Edmonton and Alberta and stuff like that in years. I grew up in South Dakota, so we would go up there to gamble. <laughs> but, um, we'd love to get up there, but yeah, it, it does take a little bit more planning and you have to have your ducks in a row. Paperwork. Yep. yep. Well, one of my sponsors, is, she's brand new and she's going to be actually announced on your guys' show on February 10th, so go plug the plug, because she's yeah. actually in Canada. Uh, she's Starlight Music Chronicles. I just liked them on Facebook. Yay! I found the right one and I Yay. liked it. <laughs> And so her name is Candace, and I'll send you guys her information. I'm pretty sure she'll love to have you guys. Sure. She's got a uh, festival coming up in June, and she's looking for musicians to play out there. I don't know what she, all she's looking for, yeah, but sure. I'll get you guys connected so that maybe That'd you guys can play where, there. That'd be great. in Canada? Uh, uh, Edmonton, no. in, in, uh, in Alberta. Yeah. Cool. And I'm going to try to go up there, too, to see the whole thing. Yeah. So, but we're, we're, we're working on it. If I do, then I'll be up there. Yeah. yeah. I've only been... I grew up three hours outside of uh, Toronto. I have never left the States in my entire life. Oh, wow. Yes. I've been all over the States. You're so close to the border. I know. I have never been there. I've, and there's so many times I've been, wanted to go or was invited to go to Canada, but never got there. Yeah. I mean, my mom invited, invited me to go up there with my grandparents and all that stuff, but I never went there. Yeah. I've never been at the Space Center, so. Oh, wow. That's really close. Yes. Uh, I've been to Quebec. Quebec's pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Old town. What about Mexico? I've been to Mexico. I've been to Acapulco. I think that's so. Yeah. You know, I got the, I got the usual resort. For being my very first band interview. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. You're welcome. Been great. And on tour, and later on, we'll be listening to you guys' uh, live performance. Yeah. yeah, we'll see you all at the show. Yeah. yeah. Woo -hoo. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> that was part two of the interview with King Carnals uh, on January 31st. Myself, my volunteer Joe, who found these guys, um, was at the downtown Tacoma at a uh, harvester having nachos. And uh, now we're going to be going to the live show. Now, before I go to the live show, and now that I'm not rushing and rambling as fast as I could to get these guys going, 
Uh, if you guys love the show, this is what I need ha- need you to do. You know how the social media thing, more likes you get, then you get more ratings? Well, the show here, it kind of runs on that same kind of thing. So it's kind of like another social media. I know you guys hate it. But if you guys are able to come and follow the show, 